Hey guys, I'm Megan. I'm Wendy. And today we're bringing you three quick tips for making better coffee with your Keurig. First things first, good coffee starts with good water. Okay. And um, let me take it back a little bit. I was looking up tutorials for cleaning out my Keurig. And a lot of people were like, make sure you change the water filter. And I was like, I don't think mine has a water filter. And then so I dig a little deeper and I realized that if your Keurig comes with a piece of plastic that looks like this, don't throw it away like I did. This is your water filter, folks. I was like, what's that? Trash, right? Ah, Fortunately, you can order a replacement on Amazon. I'm just looking to see if I have mine in or not. I don't even know. <laughs> And it just slides right into your slides right into the tank, and then you can order also the replacement cartridges if you didn't throw the filter holder itself away. So step one is don't throw it away. Step two is use it and replace the cartridges every two months or every 60 refills of the tank. Um, also, you should not leave water sitting in there. Like if you're gonna make coffee with the Keurig once a week, don't leave like the rest of the water just like chilling in there. I've totally done it too. I've done it too. I'm just talking if we're going to dig into best practices, okay. you should not leave it sitting in there. Okay? I find my biggest problem with coffee in general, Keurig included, is keeping it warm long enough for me to still drink it while it's hot. Now they have these fancy, have you seen these mugs that like keep your coffee at the perfect temperature? No, when but I used to work like, in the office, we'd, we'd have those little like warmer. things that you could set it on. Well, they yeah. have these fancy mugs that are like $80. And honestly, do I need an $80 coffee mug? No, I do not. Although I was tempted, I will tell you. Like, I saw the advertisements, I clicked on the link, and then I was like, whoa. So if you want a quick hack for keeping your coffee warmer longer, you run a single hot water cycle. Before you make the coffee? Before you make the coffee. <laughs> now, if so you your cup is hot? Correct. Oh, it makes a difference. You obviously then pour up hot water. Mm -hmm. um, if you're working with the 2.0, which this is Wendy's machine, if you try and brew without K cup, it will say run a hot water cycle. If you're working with the OG Keurig like I am, it will just you just push start with no K cup in, and you can run it through. Granted. Also, that's kind of a quick way to help rinse out your machine in between uses so are you supposed to rinse it out between uses? not between uses but you're definitely supposed to rinse it and clean it out kind of cleans out any leftover i don't want to do any of that so now we're dealing with a cup of clean hot water you can see maybe you can't but you can see the steam coming off of this this mug is nice and hot so that when the hot coffee goes into this mug it will stay warmer longer because it's not taking on the cool properties of the ceramic mug. It's already hot and it will stay warmer. Chemistry, people. All right, my last tip is I'm trying to eliminate like the single-use plastic mm -hmm. gilt. Mostly it's the gilt. This metal straw. Hey, she's on the metal straw I train. Am. Don't I let am. her tell you otherwise. I am, I am, I am. <laughs> but look, I, it's, I feel a lot of guilt about all the plastic that goes through our house. Okay. And K-cups are hard to recycle. There is a way to recycle them. I'm actually going to leave a link down below if you're interested in that sort of thing, but it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if you work in an office or if there's a group of you that want to go in together on this recycling situation, I will leave a link for that. However, if you are the average consumer, simply get yourself a reusable K-cup. This comes and you can get them in, I got a pack of four. Where'd you buy it? Amazon? Amazon, of yeah. course. Um, but I've seen them at places at Bed Bath & Beyond and even my grocery store. My grocery store has like random stuff like this. Yeah, mine too. But you just fill it with the grounds of your choice. Like regular coffee? Yeah, ground, ground coffee. Ground, regular, not beans, I get it. <laughs> but like, yes, regular coffee already ground. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, uh, the coffee purists are going to tell you you should grind your beans freshly. Do you do that ever? No. Nope. Do you own a grinder? Nope. Me either. So if I have coffee grinds in my house, it is pre-ground. I don't even grind it in the grocery store. I mean, that's what I was saying. Like you could go to Trader Joe's and get your coffee ground there. So do you do that ever? No, no. <laughs> you we buy, buy it ground. We buy K cups. Sorry. Oh, sure. Yes. Okay. So we have added ground coffee to this. It smells good. We're gonna. It does. It smells, it smells really fantastic. Good. Let's. You know, I haven't had coffee in. Make the magic happen. 
a long time. It's winning! Oh, it worked. I was afraid I wasn't going to work in there. You know, the 2.0 is a little bit more finicky than the original in terms of the mm -hmm. K-cups it would use, but this, these did say that they would work in the original and the 2.0, and now we know that they do. Yay, who? So now we have a cup of steaming coffee. How hot is the cup? It's really hot. It's really <laughs> hot, yes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, you can subscribe to our channel for more videos from us, and we will see you in another video very soon.